that's concerning. If I'm honest. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Ramire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softie. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Told you how dashing you are in that armor! <laughs> Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this as just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp, after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there, or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, 
But what do you make of them? Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's going to be easy to work with. Seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. Three Houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gerig Mach's Officer's Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gerig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The Academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. 
Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. to join Claude's Golden Deer. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Sorry, but do I have this right? This person just enrolled at the Academy, and now they have become a member of our house? Yeah, that's pretty much the deal. Right, Professor Yuritsa? Yes. I love how you can bump into someone in the woods one night, and suddenly you're living under the same roof the next. I knew we had a thing. Anyway, welcome to the Golden Deer House, where the only rule is make your own rules. Kidding, of course. Or am I? The point is, you're one of us now. And it's very good to have you here. 
while the term's only just started, the church must really like you if they're letting you join partway through. You have to be pretty skilled to get that kind of treatment. Well, I believe it. I mean, how many people our age can cut it as full-fledged mercenaries? I definitely see why the church was interested, and I can't wait to train together. And I can't wait to eat together! Or work out! You wanna go work out? Seriously, you need to put some muscles on that coat rack you call a body. Bulk up! Like me. Hmm, I don't think these strange shirt buttons look is for everybody. Any more meat on those bones, and our friend here would be downright scary. Our new friend's build is perfect as is. Wouldn't you agree, Marianne? Oh, well, I don't... Uh... Okay, okay, everyone just loosen up. And hey, it's not like we haven't met already, so just sit back and make yourself at home. I would not take after Claude if I were you, new blood. Honestly, if you wish your time here to be fruitful, you would do well to follow my lead. Um, I think Professor Yurita wants to say something. Remember your mission? Every word, Professor. We are to crush what remains of the Iron King's thieves who attacked our camp. And with their boss Costas out of the picture, the runts that are left should be easy pickings. They can't be anything too special if we're getting them as homework. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, so that whole Yuritsa up and vanishing thing? Best to just get used to it. Well, I for one am excited to show off my skills by beating up on some bandits. I don't suppose I could be excused, or, um... We're all in this together, Marianne. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Besides, the newbie here already sent them packing once, so this should be easy-peasy. We should proceed with caution. Though if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Now that's what a battle-hardened mercenary should sound like. Maybe I'll just hang out in the back and let you handle all the hacky slashy stuff. But you're a melee... You know what? Never mind. Anyway, we're all participating in this mission. Church's rules. I didn't make them, so the only thing we can do is work together. And we're gonna lean pretty heavy on our mercenary buddy here. Hope that's okay. I won't let you down. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far, but what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. 
Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Ugh! Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes. I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor... Oh, he's gone. So it would seem... Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I... I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. The less you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. I won't let you down. Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please, make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So, we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. On behalf of the Blue Lions, can I just say we are honored to have such a lovely young woman join our ranks? I mean that. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around the table for a meal. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there, before dinner. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it you're quite the exceptional fighter. 
I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. Yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the Professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. I'm certain you'll get used to him. He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. Still, bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. We should proceed with caution. Though if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well said. Your Highness, stay close. Don't bother to do. You could grab this soup for brains by the scruff and he'd still squirm loose and charge headlong into battle. Whatever the case, we should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. I won't let you down. <laughs>